About 800 years ago, ancestral Puebloans, ancestors of today's Pueblo people, lived in this area. To survive, they relied on plants and animals that lived in the area. Don't be fooled by the name. This structure was not built by the Aztec Indians of central Mexico, but by ancestral Pueblo people who lived here centuries before the Aztec Empire prospered. Inspired by popular histories about Cortez's conquest of Mexico and thinking that the Aztec built these structures, Anglo settlers named the place Aztec. The great kiva in the West Room Plaza was one of many kivas in the Aztec community. The great kiva was a sanctuary and a place for people to meet for community events. Whiteware pottery made its debut around AD 600. Stores, jars, bowls, pitchers, ladles, and mugs were made from clays that turned white when fired. Often the pottery was purposely broken and left behind as an offering to the ancestors. Decorative and perhaps symbolic elements like the green layer in walls are commonly found here. While the purpose of the green layer remains unknown, many speculate that the masons may be mimicking the local stratigraphy. Locally, the green siltstone is from an impermeable formation that the water table sits atop, possibly accenting the importance of the water table in a symbolic way. Ancient farming in the Four Corners area consisted of crops like corns, beans, and squash. Some of the earliest archaeological dates for maize, or corn, have been identified in New Mexico in rock shelters and caves near the Four Corners area. The traditions of the modern Pueblo people have been practiced for over a thousand years. The songs and ceremonies of ancient times survive through their continued practice and the oral history of the people. It's pretty cool. I mean, to see like what the people what, a thousand years ago did, that's awesome.